Welcome to the Ancient Alternative View. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Good day to all watching the Ancient Alternative View, the place where everyone's opinion matters. Remember, the truth has been hidden and covered for many years, so all theories to our ancient past are on the table. I look forward to hearing your views. Please like, comment and subscribe below. Thank you. One of the largest pyramids on Earth and a lost city are another yet undetermined factor of China's ancient past. A sensational discovery that has been made by archaeologists who have unearthed a possible pre-cataclysmic city which is home to a step pyramid that is around 70 metres high and spans a staggering 60 acres at its base. What people don't realise is the Great Pyramid of China has been looked at in more detail than what experts like us to believe. It seems it was decorated with a number of curious symbols. It featured eye symbols as well as anthropomorphic or part human, part animal faces. Have we seen those before somewhere? I ask you that ancient alternative view. Furthermore, figurines may have endowed the step pyramid and gave it special religious powers and furthermore strengthened the general visual impression to its larger audience. Now who would that larger audience have been? Ladies and gentlemen of the ancient alternative view. The pyramid is located in the centre of what experts are referring to as Shimao. However, they have no idea of who the people were that built these pyramids. Despite the fact that the existence of the Shimao has been known for some time, it has taken years of excavations to unravel some of its mysteries. Every new discovery made at the pyramid questions more and more about the civilizations that flourished around the Shimao thousands and thousands of years ago. Let's put this into context. This was thousands of years before the Great War was even thought about. Impressively, at its peak, this ancient city is believed to encompass an area of 988 acres, making it one of the largest in the world. The pyramid of this lost ancient city happens to be one of the largest pyramids on the surface of our planet. Unlike its Mexican or Egyptian counterparts, the Great Pyramid of China was not used as a temple or electrical device or weather changer or tomb, <laughs> but seems to have been a fully fledged citadel. The pyramid seems to have been home to 11 massive terraces which were occupied by all kinds of different buildings that could have accommodated the upper classes, maybe priests, military and wealthy merchants passing through. This is just me surmising, as we have no idea who the people were at this time. Researchers have written in their studies that on the topmost step of the pyramid there were extensive palaces built of rammed earth with wooden pillars and roofing tiles, a gigantic water reservoir and domestic remains related to their daily life. So a very advanced civilization, ancient alternative view. The walls of this majestic pyramid have helped archeologists understand a lot about this ancient city. Specific research has explained that several stone walls with ramparts and gates were raised around the pyramid and its city. Archaeologists say at the entrance to the step pyramid were sophisticated bulwarks or defensive walls whose design suggests that they were intended to provide both defence and highly restrict access. Hmm. But in addition to unearthing one of the most incredible and massive pyramids on the planet, experts also came across a number of human sacrificial pits. In the outer gateway of the eastern gate on the outer rampart alone, six pits containing decapitated human heads have been found. 
Morphological analysis of the human remains suggests that victims may have been related to the residents of the Zhukua, who could further suggest that they were taken to the Shimao as captives during their expansion. But who were the people of the Shimao? So is there any more evidence of Chinese pyramids in China? Well, yes, there is. At the bottom of Lake Fuxian, rising 1,720 metres above sea level and encompassing an area of 212 kilometres, experts discovered the remains of another massive city and several pyramid-shaped structures believed to be the remains of an advanced ancient pre-flood civilization. Are these the Shemao's descendants? We shall see. I'm sure you'll agree, pyramids are a global phenomenon. Mainstream and alternative alike, we must agree on that. For thousands of years, ancient cultures around the globe have decided to erect pyramids as if all of them followed an intricate blueprint from our ancient past. Not a single expert today can answer why the ancient pyramids were built. We all have our ideas. And why so many of them are eerily similar despite the fact that mainstream scholars argue the most distant civilizations around the world were most certainly not connected. I have to disagree. As we've looked at, China is known for many, many things in our ancient past and could be a pathway to our ancient engineers. But a few know that many experts consider this part of the world to be home to maybe the largest pyramid on the surface of the planet. During the end of World War II, American pilot James Guzman prepared to complete a mission of providing food and supplies to the Chinese military forces. Suddenly a fault in the aircraft engine forced his return to the Asan Air Base in northern India. For safety, he performed his return journey at low altitude which made it possible to observe the incredible land below him. Shortly after flying over the city of Xi'an, heading southwest, the pilot encountered the presence of a giant pyramidal shape on the surface. Surprised after making several passes over the structure, Guzman prepared to take and took several photographs of the pyramid. He also created a detailed report which he later handed to his superiors on returning to the base. But that ancient alternative view is just one reference to one of the many mystifying pyramids in China. The truth is there are many more pyramids scattered across the region. If we travel to Lake Fuxian, located in the Yunnan province, China, we will discover the remains of a massive structure at the bottom of a lake. At the top of this poorly explored lake, which stretches through Shijiang County, Shijiangshun County and Huang County in Yunnan province, rising 1,020 metres above sea level and encompassing an area of 212 square kilometres, are structures that have mystified experts ever since their discovery. The enigmatic monuments were discovered in 1992 when expert diver Zheng Wei came across hand-carved flagstones and countless other stone relics scattered across the bottom of the second deepest freshwater lake in China. So when were these enigmatic structures built? Ancient alternative view. Is it possible that the ancient structure located beneath Lake Fuxian are the remnants of an ancient culture that flourished before Earth's last ice age? Is it possible this could have been around 13,000 years ago when a cataclysmic event wiped out advanced civilizations from the surface of our planet? The answer to that is, of course, it's possible, ancient alternative view. After over 30 dives and aid from submarines, experts discovered the remains of massive stone slabs, stairs and walled structures. However, that was not enough to understand what exactly was located at the bottom of the lake. Then, in 2001, archaeologists from the Hunan Provincial Museum 
used advanced sonar equipment and cameras to survey the bottom of the lake for the first time ever. The results convinced the experts in the field that the remains at the bottom of the lake once belonged to an extremely complex and advanced ancient culture that inhabited the region in the distant past, capable of building massive structured pyramids. This ancient alternative view shows the root of our engineers. Researchers gathered enough data to convince them that the mysterious underwater structures covered an area of more than 1.5 square kilometres. What if the structure at the bottom of the lake is evidence that before the Great Flood, before the last ice age, an extremely advanced ancient culture inhabited the area? If so, who were they and what happened to them after the Great Flood? Looking back at historical records, we will find evidence that an ancient city called Yu Huan was established in the region where Lake Fushan is located today. Historical records show that the city ceased to exist after the Su and Tang dynasty, 589 to 907 AD. Curiously, according to local legends and folklore, the ancient city of Yu Huan and its people sank to the bottom of the lake also. So did experts find the remains of the ancient city of Yu Huan? The answer is no. Shocking ancient alternative view. Why? I can hear you all screaming. Because after several studies, experts concluded that the sunken city Yu Yuan, or the capital of the ancient Dian kingdom, was in fact constructed mostly out of wooden and clay materials. Strangely enough, the remains at the bottom of the lake are mostly carved out of stone. As noted by the Epoch Times, the pyramids at the bottom of the lake are far more advanced than other similar pyramids around the globe. As the stones are ornamented with various designs and symbols, experts are said to have found curious shapes engraved on the stone at the bottom of the lake. Amongst the many engraved stones, one of them has attracted particular attention. On the top right of the slab, experts found a small carved circle with seven radial lines. Hello everyone, thanks very much indeed for watching the Pyramids in China episode today. I hope that you've enjoyed the China series. We've looked at Yangshan, Longyu Caves, the pyramidal structures in China, also the connective hallmarks between the Chow Chow tomb and also in Egypt. Now, I'd like to hear your views on whether ancient China is far, far older as a civilization than what we are led to believe. I believe so. We only have to look at the Longyu Caves and Yangshan Quarry, also the pyramids, to justify this. If there's uh, any mainstreamists out there, I'd like to hear how uh, we fit all these into the mainstream narrative, considering they're uh, not documented throughout any of the dynasties in China. If there's any Chinese viewers watching that have any inside information that they'd like to let us know with reference to the pyramids and the findings there, are there any hallmarks that you may have seen that can help us on our quest? Because... The information that we are given, especially on the internet, ancient alternative view, is not particularly that good. And I have to credit the Clay Group's footage for the initial part of my video today. They give one of the only aerial view footage representations of all the pyramids in China. In this day and age, I find that fascinating, that we do not have any information on them whatsoever really. Now I've left the coordinates within the video so you guys can go onto Google Maps, put in each of the different coordinates and you can go and visit the Chinese pyramid yourself. It took me ages to find those coordinates. I hope you have fun looking at all of those. I think if I'd have gone through them with you we'd have been here for an hour but there we go. I'm sure I've bored you enough already. 
Thanks for watching the Chinese episodes that we've put out for you on the Ancient Alternative View. I look forward to hearing your views. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember, there's always an Ancient Alternative View. Thank you for watching.